Well, it happened. My clipboard broke. So I'm gonna use Jason Monsoor's support of the cause. Thank you very much, Jason. I always look forward to your curveballs. Uh, today is no exception. To buy myself a new clipboard. How's that for use of commas in spoken word? <laughs> yeah, Jason likes to send me these ones that are like the the secret song after a B-side on the one live version that, that, that I've heard half a time in my life. And today's no exception. Ride the Cliché by Stone Temple Pilots. This one is complicated, but it's concise. So uh, this shouldn't probably take as long as I think it's going to take. Buckle your seatbelts. Here we go. The first, the th the ch -ch -ba, ba is a G, but it's not a regular G power chord because we hear this note in here. <laughs> Definitely. And there's two ways to do this. So if don't, you know, press, don't go so somewhere else now. Just make it through and I'll show you the next way. But E3, A5, and D7. And you're going to go two muted strums followed by two you know, unmuted strums, and we just want those three notes. And so when you want it muted, you just stop pressing. You don't even notice a difference because it's so slight. But one, two, one, two, one. Repeat. The other way to do that is put your middle finger on E3 and put your pointer finger on G2. That is our same, right? The power chord is a root of fifth. And then this would be, here's our octave. So here is the next two, or the ninth, because eight is one, and two is therefore nine. Anyways, same root. Same, you're going to mute the A string sort of accidentally. That's okay. We want that. D is the fifth, and A is the ninth. I like this way better. And then we are into the riff, exclamation point, in all caps. I'll be right back with that. All right, this is not actually so bad once you learn uh, how to listen to it. But there was no information, no live versions of, of STP doing this song, so I'm going to pick the position that works best for me, and perhaps there's a couple of these things that you could find elsewhere to do it, but I'm going to opt for down here where there's open strings. So, open A, A4, open D, D2, D open, A4, D open twice, and now when we get back to A4, we're gonna sort of fall off the cliff and go 4-2 open as, as pull-offs, and then land on the E3. So, open A, four, open D, two, open, A4, two D opens, up two frets open you can do that as a power chord like that with your pointer finger on the A string second fret or you can do the other thing as a power chord which is the G but you can't do both because it's gonna be either so that's three open three open three open but here we go, or you can go where your power chord opens up the E string to be open for that thing. So you choose, I like this way better. They are not the same, so one of those two things is correct and not both of them, but I don't know which one, so pick your favorite. Anyways, here's the whole thing, nice and slow. time or whoo there it was chorus simple matter it's just a and d but we're gonna do it as an f shaped a so right f f sharp g g sharp a on the fifth sixth and seventh frets and we want this open a string <laughs> D in the same position is going to be pointer finger goes on E5, pinky, ring, middle go on D, G, B, 7. We can keep our open A string in the bass. I like to. Back to A. And then we do 
our intro thing. Back to A, D, A, and now intro but with F. so you can kind of compare and contrast there. Yep, that's it for the chorus. Yes. At the end of the riff is uh, two little plucks on the open E. Don't know how I missed that. The solo, of course, is the topic for another video because, wow, what a doozy. But maybe we'll be excited about it after the tripping on a hole in a paper heart solo. Uh, but... Yeah, anyway, so the riff after the solo is gonna be, again with positions, I'm doing it down here, you could certainly find a way to do it here-ish, uh, but I like the open string. So open D, four, open G, two, open, D four, open G, D four, and then bend G two. by C major 7, which is C with no pointer finger, until you go into your F little intro rhythm, but on F, into chorus, 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 done. Use your earballs. Anyways, Jason Monsoor, thank you for the complicated yet concise request. Um, for I know it's not a B-side, it's on a record and everything. I'd heard that song before, more than half a time. So thank you for the excellent request, and thank you your, for your continued support, and thank all of you for being here. And I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye. <laughs>